While June 1st is the deadline we keep hearing about, the government actually hit the debt ceiling all the way back in January. The Treasury Department has been engaging in so-called extraordinary measures, which means that it's essentially playing a shell game with how it spends its money. Mark Hamrick with Bankrate told me the goal of the debt ceiling is to restrain spending, but he says the restraint just isn't working, which is why the nation's borrowing needs to be addressed. It really is a lot like having someone who's taking a credit card after credit card and running that up to the limit and saying, it's OK, there'll be another credit card. But how the debt is addressed is what policymakers are fighting over. If the parties can't agree in time, the government won't be able to pay all of its bills as soon as June 1st. And not paying bills means the U.S. defaults, which is something that's never happened before. The reason for that, among others, is that it's seen as essentially a self-inflicted uh, wound, a, a huge wound uh, on the economy. Should we default, Hamrick said the people at risk are those expecting money from the government. That could include Social Security, that could include members of the military. And you think about all the vendors who are dependent on Uncle Sam. So what can we do? Make sure you have an emergency fund first. Based on our latest survey, only 43% of Americans could pay an expense of $1,000 or more from savings. He added that it's also not wise to trade or invest based on the risk of a default. Allison Gormley, 13 News.